Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of European Vessels 3 Divine Wind as Great Britain. Now, we want you to dock up, uh, stop patrolling, and we're going to look at getting an explorer. Unfortunately he costs a bit of money and he's going to be rubbish, but that's not what we really need him for. We just need him so that he can look out of his little lucky glass and come down here and try and find... Actually, come to this coast first, uh, royal marriage. We'll leave it for now because the first thing I want actually is military access. Damn, that's not good. Oh, they refused us, damn. Coast of Columbia. Right, who else is up here? Anyone actually along this coast? No, it looks like the closest is Portugal. We have no diplomats. That's fine for now, we're just gonna sail down and see if we can't go back and forth and sort something out. Actually, stop off in Bermuda. And we'll move from there. At least you're going to take less attrition that way. Oh, because I turned to rebels off. It's alright, they're not going to break free. They're too busy trying to deal with us and the Holy Roman Empire at the same time. I guess on there. Gulf of California. Ah, it's looking more like the proper shape. ships made it. Now come down here and do a little dance. We'll have to keep checking back up on you and seeing that you're not taking too much attrition but I should do for finding that mission. Finishing that mission should I say. And we want to try and keep on zero how long until you get there? August the 9th. June, July, August. Too long, too long. Your base tax free, base tax free. Five, five, six. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. So we'll send one there. We have to try and make sure that we'll stay on zero so that we'll actually get the full five as a reward. You have border friction against Savoy. I, I don't want to go to war with Savoy. I would love to help Savoy. I'd love to help Italy form up the Gulf of Parma. Although at the minute with him losing Savoy themselves, if we can take that from the Holy Roman Empire, we can give a proper French border and form like proper Italy. Uh, the Gulf of Parma. Panama, not Parma. Yeah, that was a bit dumb. Siege of Barros has won. We're getting that. Good. Holy Roman Empire is starting to get a few more and spread out. So hopefully someone's going to break free. Uh, looks like Tuscany has gone to war. They're at war with Naples. How much money are we? 40 a year. I'm not going to give them that much money monthly. Uh, but... Five a month. It's going to send us bankrupt. But I'd like to see them get bigger so they can have some more subsidies. Do we get good? You don't get a bonus for giving them more subsidies. Might as well just giving them cash. I mean, a, a gift. It would have been less and they would actually have liked me for it as well. And again, I guess the aim wasn't trying to make them lie, because it was to try and make them win that war. Because we're going to have to get through Moderna. Ooh, we gain core provinces. All over India. Oh, yes. Now, if we ever need to, we can train another army up here. And in fact, you are still... I thought you was patrolling. Did I actually forget to press the start patrolling button? It's 
stop trolling. Uh, do we want some more? Well, no, actually, he's doing a good job at keeping them there. We don't need any more chips in India. Oh. Hobbit was successful. Good. How are you doing down here? Probably should have got a... The wrong one. B A H I. We are going too far then. I can't see how damaged we are because we're in a battle. It's one big ship against one a light ship, so that should be fine. One frigate. Wait, monster. Okay, where's our navy? I mean the full thing. It's over here. You need to be sitting here so this guy can patrol that as well. Thankfully, Norway's doing fine on its own. Only 2,000 troops now. It's got rid of a lot of them. That of the Gassany has been won. We have gained the core province of Tudor. Uh, one thing that, I, when I uh, mentioned obviously that we'd added them names, one thing I... I was almost hesitant to put Tudor in, actually. Uh, not because I didn't like the name of it. It sounded good, yo, or we're Britain, yet yeah, sounds good. The only thing is, we're not... We, we've never had a Tudor dynasty in our particular version of a history because... Well, the Tudors was the last ditch chance for the Lancastrian line to stay on the throne. They didn't actually have any real claim other than that they was the last of the house of, um, I, I always get them mixed up, but there was the houses of York and the houses of Lancaster. Uh, there was actually, the family name was Lancaster, which I think we still are. I think we're still Lancastrian. Yeah, we're still Lancaster. Uh, but the, there was the house of York that split off from it and they had two claims to the throne because they was both descended from the king, uh, which obviously going back through all the way to William the Conqueror. But then they was warring and they killed off so many of the people who actually had a proper claim. Uh, so it ended up being the the uh, widow of the head of Lancaster and the of the York and the final guy who could claim any sort of claim to the throne on the other side, which was Henry the Seventh. And they married each other. They adopted both roses for their own, which was a Tudor rose, the red and white one, which we are used to seeing. And that's where, obviously, we got the Tudors in. And then the Stuarts, which ended up ruling us after that, they was the distant cousins of the Tudors. Never mind the Lancastrians. But I guess this is how royal lines work. He's not necessarily direct descendants. It's the closest living direct descendant. Now you just get here. Actually, 61... We'll try with Ferrara again. Outrageously refused. Right, you need to go back up to Bermuda then, all that way. Or oh, you're gonna have to deal with a Gonna have to deal with them meanie pirates as well. Thankfully, because of the rebels, we're not having to deal too much with the hordes, which slightly confuses me. Damn. Slightly confuses me that the hunt rebels wouldn't actually go to hunt hordes as well, because as far as I'm concerned, they are just rebels. They're not civilized like us. They're not even civilized like the other Indians were that we destroyed for not being civilized. Send again, please, because that's where we need to be trying now, because we don't have any colonies. That's a good lot of churches being built. Gulf of Alaska. Holy cow, you are really going to work to try and get around. You, have you have you already circumnavigated the world, Navarra? That could be interesting to have found out. Where was I? Uh, Tibet and the Kachigan has made peace. Tibet will pay tribute. Worrisome. Very worrisome. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it might be. Only 0.2 of a ship versus 0.9 of a ship. Fair enough, it's a smaller ship, but we also have very old ships out here. 
We've learnt about an island. I thought we learned about an island, but no. Iceland. Iceland. Come on. You can do it. That siege dealt with. Is there any more rebels up here? No, there isn't. Well, I wasn't expecting the Jaya Birds to uh, be so successful against the Ottomans and uh, the Oman. Glamorgan. It's fine. You should deal with them. Now we've got the ship there. No more rebels here. And how are we doing on war exhaustion? I think that means we lose the... ...scouty person as well. Just leaving a cog in there should actually maybe... ...decide to keep them off. You come to Bermuda. Glad we didn't leave the, leave the, lose the person. People are sampling a new religion, unfortunately we have to let them. I'm really, it does seem bad that we haven't, oh, I was going to say, it does seem bad we haven't got a new technology yet, but the new one's going to pop in April, January, February, we're still a good bit away. Uh, Northern Pacific Diff, Drift. I think they have circumnavigated the world. Revolt in Calais, but that's fine because he's got nothing else to do. Our ships are starting to be completed. Um, aren't you meant to be going over to Munster as well? Preferably... Uh, High Judge Lawrence Alinster has died. Damn. Atlantic 18. So what's the... We're switching up to free shooter infantry, which for some reason has no fire whatsoever. A little bit of better shock in defense. Um, but... Yeah, plus one in shock in both attack and defense. It matches on defensive fire. Morale. I don't get why you'd have free shooter infantry. We're actually gonna go for these guys. And just out of curiosity. And to get the first army name going again, we'll switch all these guys over like that. Tell it to hunt rebels, and that gets us a new sprite. Yep, they really look... More like conquistadors. And I don't particularly remember the British being conquistadors. Wait, Sweden has declared war? Uh, da, 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 no. They don't have a proper casus belly. And Norway's declared war on Sweden, Messiah's declared war on Sweden. What do you want then? I think we've just actually got a navy that will probably deal with you. Uh, but we'll obviously look into that in the next episode. And we have a free seat, which was working on in, uh, national revolt risk. Actually, that's probably going to be bad for us not to have that there. But we'll deal with him and the Swedish in the next episode. Uh, so as they. Maybe they're coming to force plop down our mouths. Either way, we'll deal with it in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and goodbye.